Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a completed diamond painting for you all to share and hopefully give you an idea of what it looks like. This is Andy and Oliver by Diamond Art Club and I have finished it. <laughs> I finished a diamond painting! Ah! <laughs> Another one! So without further ado, let's have a look. Ta-da! she's so cute so this is Angie and Oliver this is a 42 by 59 centimeter diamond painting the artist is Hannah Lynn and it's just so pretty look at the sparkle and shine this is an older diamond painting this is around 2020 I'll put in the exact date that I got this painting on the screen for you all so um, there, there are some good things and then there are some not so great things that have been fixed. If you buy a Diamond Art Club now, you're not going to have the problems that I had with this kit. Um, but for those of you who might have it in their stash, it might be just well worth knowing. So this painting has 38 colors and there are multiple AB diamonds in this kit. Um, but back then... <laughs> Back then, on the legend here on the side, they didn't, they, they were putting everything in DMC number order, you see here. I believe that they called this symbol in this color code now, but it's the DMC number. Now, if you buy a kit now, uh, you'll get anything that's an AB at the very top of the list. So anything under 150. So 149 and below are AB diamonds. So you can see there's one here at the top. But then there's two here at the bottom. And they are not in numbered order. So if you buy one now, the numbers, it'll be one, two, three, etc. at the very top. Um, and so that was a little confusing, I'm not going to lie, because when I place diamonds on my kit, I try to either save the ABs for last or I put them down first. On this painting, I would put them down last, so I was trying to uh, save those symbols for later, and it was just a little confusing because two, like at least one of the symbols is the um, double dot and one is number nine, and one is number one. So just a little confusing. They have changed that to make it a little bit more universal and so you know what you're getting. But this is one of the first diamond paintings that I remember having multiple ABs in. Back then, uh, pre-2020 anyway, um, there was either no AB diamond or there was one. <laughs> so this has multiple shades of blue and green in it and you can see that the highlights in this if hopefully you'll be able to see them I'll point them out to you um, they're really random so we have them highlights in the hair that makes sense we have some under the eyes and in the eyeshadow there's some in the hair around the neck kind of looks like a necklace uh, and then there's random bits of green in the turtle really no rhyme or reason to that. Um, the bubbles are all outlined in AB. Uh, and then there's just some AB down here at the, the bottom in kind of straight lines. But they are super shiny, super sparkly, and lovely. So if you buy a new Diamond Art Club kit, the ABs enhance highlights. So they do make sense. And if you choose not to place them, it's fine. You can replace them with a standard color. You don't have to use the AB necessarily, but you may run out of diamonds. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but generally, I really like the rendering. I did have an issue with popping and gapping in this kit. And that's because there were issues with the drills and with the grid. So some diamonds were too small for the grid and some were too large. My 310 black diamonds, which this is mostly 310 actually, there's a lot. There were several bags. I will post the um, unboxing of this kit in the description box if you'd like to have a look at it. Several bags of 310 
And when I put them down, they crowded really close together. There were quite a few 310 that had these little puddles on the side or little feet, little uh, nip, knobbly bits is what we used to call them. Um, and I threw a lot of those away. I, I tossed those um, and tried to focus on getting the best quality ones that I could. But the 310 diamonds from the manufacturer they had back then did not do very good quality control. And unfortunately, that means that I have a lot of spacing issues. Alternatively, or uh, in the opposite way, you could see in her face, there is a lot of gapping happening because these colors, this color is too small for the grid. So the manufacturer was making different size diamonds, um, probably not on purpose, but the calibration must have been wrong and so it wasn't fitting correctly. Um, but if you stand far back enough, you can't really tell. Like if you're looking at this from across a room, you're not going to probably tell. Um, so it is beautiful. I really like the finish. I love Hannah Lynn's art. And this one is one of my favorites of all time. But now I'm going to show you the diamonds. The tray that I use, this is Elizabeth Ward Container System. Um, you can get knockoffs of the, uh, these on the internet all over the place. I almost out of, ran out of diamonds in a couple of colors, but I didn't. So, you know, it was safe enough. But as you can see, there's probably, there's probably 20 diamonds in this. And there are a little more. But I was, I was getting very concerned at the end that I was going to run out. Um, luckily, Diamond Art Club does have a lifetime warranty and like oops insurance. And if for some reason you do run out of diamonds, you can contact the company and they will replace up to eight bags for free. Um, so I didn't actually run out of any diamonds. This is but a very small selection of the trash diamonds that I have. Because I was in the middle of a move, I actually didn't, um, I didn't keep all of my trash diamonds. They, if I did, they are somewhere I cannot find. But just wanted to give you an idea of what I was looking at. So there's a lot of actual trash here because these are, these are resin. Um, these are stuck together, puddles, holes, um, ones that are too big to fit the spot. Uh, most of them look like that where they either had the little puddles over, over the edges um, or they were stuck together or had holes. Um, it, they were of a good quality material, which makes them shiny and sparkly and wonderful and beautiful. But the manufacturer of the diamonds at that time, I just think was um, making a joke out of diamond painting and was not delivering the quality. So it's just something to keep, keep an eye on. I did use a combination of blue wax, Creations Morin Putty, Diamond Painting Putty by Cat, and Painting with Pitties Putty. So I like to use putties, but sometimes I use blue wax, especially with AB Diamonds, because it doesn't grab as much. But I actually used, for the last like four or five sections, I used the same putty in my multi-placer from Creations Morin, this unicorn farts scent. <laughs> Um, that, this, this has not been changed since before I started the turtle shell. So I actually work from, uh, left to right, top to bottom on my diamond paintings. So all of this down, the multi-placer was one fill. And some people ask me, how do you do that? Um, I have a light touch. I don't press very hard, so my wax lasts a long time. I also live in a very mild climate. It's quite humid most of the time. And um, so I know that other weather conditions can affect putty and things like that. But the number one most important thing is don't press hard. <laughs> um, if you press hard, you will have to refill. 
It's not necessarily a problem. You don't necessarily have to fix it, but if you are paying for putty and you don't want to have to pay a lot of money, then um, just try to relax your grip when you're diamond painting. That's all I can really tell you. Overall, I am very happy, number one, I'm very happy that I finished this painting. The end, this last section, I did more than half of the bottom at once. Took quite a while because there was a lot of color changing, but the result of this painting is beautiful. If I frame this painting, I will actually seal it. And I have a diamond painting sealing video that I will link in the eye above. If you'd like to check out my process on sealing, I just buy a sealant from Amazon. You can buy it from Diamond Art Club. Um, you can buy it from a lot of different places. Um, you can use a lot of different materials, but I use the particular one that I show in the video because it is safe, it's non-toxic, and um, it's not gonna, you're not gonna breathe in a whole bunch of chemicals. And I find that it works really, really well. It holds up and it doesn't yellow. So that is it. I am complete with this painting and I'm so happy. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos if you haven't already. I have a wide variety of things, especially things like um, I have reading videos where I read books. If you like my voice, I, I get people telling me that all the time. I don't know what you see in me, but okay. <laughs> Reading stories. Um, we have podcasts about aliens, um, silly things like that, just to help you pass the time. I have a whip and chats where I talk about my personal life. I have tutorials for diamond painting. The list goes on. Check out my channel. I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much for your support. I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.